What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and today I want to talk about the Frontier Pursuit update or the summer update or whatever you would like to call it and kind of talk about was it really worth the wait. Now I feel like the community is going to be kind of torn on this. Some people are going to like it. Some people are not, are not going to like it and I'm kind of torn on how I feel about it myself. First of all, let me get this out of the way. I think it was a big improvement to the game overall, adding new roles into the game. Now we know that more roles are going to come to the game over time. Uh, also, I think the encounters that they have added in the game that you come across, uh, you know, when you see some NPCs that you have to go help, I think those encounters, the new ones, have added a lot to the game, a lot more depth that makes you, it just kind of feels neat to go do some of these encounters. But at the same time, this video, I'm going to kind of talk about some of the things that I don't really enjoy i guess more about the frontier pursuit the first thing is the roles are fun ranking up the roles are a lot of fun but i do feel once you have them completed it's kind of a bit bland um i have completed the bounty hunter completed the trader and my collector is to 17 and i feel they're all just a bit bland in my opinion the trader is if you are a person that liked to hunt before these roles came out so if you've been playing red dead online for you know since the beta kind of uh, version and you have continued to play and if you are a person that just went out and hunted for skins and, and, and carcasses to sell to the butcher the trader is kind of the same concept also when it comes to the bounty hunter a lot of the missions I have heard this in different forums and things within the community and I can understand this I kind of feel the same a lot of these missions kind of feel like doing stranger missions you know you go out you help someone out get in a fight whatever the case may be you know when you're doing a bounty you lasso the person, throw them on your horse, and bring them back. Kind of the same as a stranger mission. Now it does get a little bit more in-depth with the legendary bounties. I think that is one of the coolest additions with the uh, new roles. Uh, also, if you have to use your bounty wagon, if you have to go after multiple targets, it's kind of fun. But a lot of times, it's just kind of a bland, in my opinion. You're going out. Sometimes you don't even fight. You know, you're just searching an area for a certain bounty or more than one bounty. But it, it just kind of feels bland. And when it comes to the collector... I don't know how many people out there are actually going out and doing these collections each and every day when they reset, but I was hoping a little for a little bit more with this. This the same collections over and over, day in and day out, even though they do change locations, but there's only three different locations they can be. So every three days, these things will be set back. You know, they rotate out, but and they'll be set back to, you know, one day they'll be back to where you found them, you know, the day before. I, I, I just feel that it's kind of, it's just kind of repetitive, I guess. And I understand, you know, this going for more of this RPG feel now in Red Dead Online. And a lot of RPG style games are very repetitive. But I do feel like a lot of other RPG style games have a lot more content or a lot more context to the things they have available for the players to do. Now, I'm sure over time we will get more things added to this. Of course, the big question in a lot of people's minds is how long will it take? You know, is this going to be... A thing that is just very slow you know things that are rolled out very slowly uh, over time because you know I made a video a few weeks back talking about that how Rockstar wanted to bring out these updates a lot slower than they did with the GTA online and also they're bringing a lot of stuff to just the PC version we know of right now so I'm hoping the console version of the game doesn't really get left behind and it's into next year you no know, next spring before we get another big update because I feel once everyone has completed their roles, and I don't recommend rushing through them, enjoy you know ranking up the role, because that is the most fun to me, is ranking those roles up. And kind of after you get them ranked up, it's, you know, you just go out and make money, yes, which is great. But a lot of people kind of feel like I do. What is there really left to buy besides new clothing items, maybe? I have all the horses in game that I want. You know, I have everything purchased from the roles. And I'm kind of left with what is, you know, what what is the is the purpose of the money that I'm going to make from these roles. I'm not really sure. I know it, it's kind of up in the air for me right now. I think it is a great update. Uh, it brought new things to the game, new ideas to the game. But at the same time, I feel like these roles kind of leave you wanting more. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.